Hey everyone! Today I'm going to share with you a different kind of video. It's not another makeup tutorial right now, though I will be having one coming out soon. It's actually going to be a haul video! Yay! Just today I was at the cosplay yard sale at Cam Jordan in Chattanooga, and it was fantastic. I got to see a lot of cool people, some really great stuff, and I even got some great stuff. Um, I got about six items for $45, which is fantastic, and I just wanted to share them with you. And another reason I made this video is for those that are on my Facebook page. It's easier to me to tell you what I got in a video rather than have to type it out five billion times. So without further ado, here is what we got at this yard sale. Alright, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go by the order of when I bought these things and just try to tell you all I can about it. So the first item we have is this blonde wig. Um, from what I was told by the girls running the table, it was actually used for an Edward Elric cosplay, which is exactly what I was needing because I'm going to be replacing my Edward Elric wig. So as you can see, it's not in the best condition at this second. It looks fantastic though. And it is from Arda Wigs. And that's what the inside looks like. Um, I just gotta braid this and it will be perfect. And I got this for a dollar. This is the cheapest wig I've ever owned. And it is fantastic. And I'm going to be featuring it definitely when I do my cosplay breakdown of Edward Elric which I will be doing pretty soon. And if you're on my Facebook page, you know what Cosplay Breakdown is. All right, now let's move on to the next item, which is this dark green hip scarf. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the girl that I bought it from told me that she was planning on using it for a Joker costume. And I plan on using this for a Loki belly dancer costume. Um, you can't find dark green online, which is really stupid. And I was so excited when she had this, and I cannot wait to wear it. It was only $5, which is also amazing. And I'll show you what it looks like on in just a second. And this is what the hip skirt looks like on. It is absolutely fabulous, and I'm so excited to use it for Loki. All right, so the third and fourth items go together. It is actually a Grell costume from Black Butler and the teeth for it. So just to show you a little bit of what it has, it comes with this tie, a white shirt with the black things on it, the brown vest, and it also comes with black pants, but I kind of removed the pants because they don't fit. It was originally $15, but she brought it down for me for $5 since I said I couldn't fit the pants, but I could fit the rest of this. And I'll just have to get a wig and glasses and a coat, which I'm probably going to reuse my coat from Edward Elric. And I also got these teeth with the Grell costume. And it even says that it is used for the Grell Sutcliffe. And it was $3 for this. And I look forward to putting this on and seeing what it's like. So combined, these two were $8. $8 for basically a whole cosplay. The next item is this blue wig. It is absolutely beautiful. It is from Arda Wigs and it's the same quality as the Edward Elric wig. It came from a different table so this one was $25 and I plan on using this for my cosplay for Sadness from Inside Out and it's just so nice. And if I ever wanted to, I could easily trim it off and use it for joy, though. I'm going to do sadness first. So this wig is just beautiful. And here's what the inside looks like. The final item that I have is this robot Mew. She was $3. And from what the lady at the table told me, she was made in 1995. So she's about 20 years old. But she still sort of works. Um, so there's what she looks like. Apparently her eyes will move, but I haven't seen it yet. If you press the button here, then she'll talk. And I don't know what this button does, so we're about to find out. Let me just turn her on real quick. Ah, 
Okay. So both her paws make noises. And it feels like the tail would be able to move, but because she's so old, she may not be able to, which is just fine, but she's so cute. I actually bought her for my brother because I usually like to buy him something when I'm at conventions or at this yard sale, actually. So, and he absolutely loves her. That's right. All right, so to end this video, I'm wanting to do a segment that I'm going to do whenever I review conventions that I go to. I've decided I'm going to do that too. Where I'm going to get business cards from either tables that I've been to or people I bought things from or just whatever and feature them in my videos. So you guys can go to their pages, look at their stuff. I'm going to put all their links down below. So the first one is Kaneko Punch. She was a wonderful person to meet. She's actually the one that sold me my Grell costume and the teeth for it. Um, she said it was originally made for her, but she can no longer fit it. But she sold some amazing cosplay pieces, and she also makes these awesome fawn antler things. So if you really like antlers and stuff like that, then she's the one to talk to. She even gave me ideas on how to make my Loki horns that I plan on making for my belly dancer. So I will link her Facebook down below. She has some really, really cute stuff and I know you won't be disappointed. The next one is Charming Dulce. She makes different nerdy necklaces and accessories. A couple of my favorites were the GameCube controller necklace and the Legend of Zelda necklace and it was so pretty. You can find her on Facebook, on Etsy, and she also has a Gmail and I will link that down below. So the next group is Hazardous Cosplay. I met them actually at DaisukiCon this past June. Um, they're both wonderful, wonderful people. They have a store envy and they also have a Facebook. And you definitely should go check them out. They do really great drawings. They've sold hats. They make these cute little polymer clay charms. And it's just so adorable and I think you will absolutely love them. Next is Do or Tie. Um, this was a guy who makes these really great nerdy ties. You can find him on Gmail. You can find him on Etsy. And he just had a bunch of really cute, amazing things. The next one is Cog Country, which was at the same table as Do or Tie. Um, Cog Country did a lot of steampunk jewelry, like necklaces and rings and bracelets, and they were so pretty. Um, you can find Cog Country on Facebook, which again, I will link down below. And he was just a wonderful person to talk to, and you will love what he has. Next one is Vintage Vanity. She makes these really, really cute, like, vintage-y um, and kind of glammy pieces, like... She had these adorable rib cage necklaces and she had these head pieces. She had this adorable hair clip that looked like a skeleton inside a tool and it was so cute. Um, she just makes all sorts of really cute kind of, I guess you'd say kind of like glammy gothic looking stuff. It's fantastic. Um, you can find her on Facebook and she also has a Yahoo email. So I'd suggest checking her out. The next one is Jessica Claren. Um, Jessica Claren had a bunch of beautiful jewelry and had a lot of turquoise looking things. And she has an Etsy shop and I would definitely suggest checking her out. She had some beautiful things and she was also very, very sweet. And the final one I have is Homegrown Cosplay and Anime. Um, the man at this table was absolutely wonderful. He had, like he had some Ramune, he had different Pocky, he also sold shirts and little figurines and he has a store called homegrown cosplay and anime in cleveland so if you're around the cleveland area then i'd suggest checking him out and he just is a wonderful person and you can find him on facebook and yeah that's all i've got for today guys um i hope you really liked this video please like favorite subscribe and let me know in the comments what kind of video you'd want to see next i do plan on making a cosplay breakdown pretty soon of edward elric and I am going to be doing another Make Me Up cosplay. Um, I don't know what yet, but we shall see. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye!